Hi everybody, I am Teresa. I am a movement artist with the Pace Art Program in Lafayette, Louisiana, and today we're doing a kindergarten lesson about winter weather. So we'll talk a little bit about things that we can see, feel, and do in the winter. We will also learn about something called symmetry and we'll create some symmetrical and asymmetrical shapes with our bodies. At the end of our lesson today, we will create a winter weather dance using symmetrical and asymmetrical shapes. The only thing that you'll need for your lesson today is some space. And don't forget, you can pause any time you need. All right, let's learn about symmetry. So symmetry means that something is the same on both sides. So if you took an object and you drew a line straight down the middle of that object and it was the same on one half as it was the other half, we would say that object is symmetrical. Do you want to say it with me? Symmetrical. Okay, so I have a few objects that we can look at and I'll show you what I mean. First thing I have is this silver ball. Okay, so this is symmetrical. The silver ball, the shape of it is a sphere, right? So we're gonna imagine that I'm drawing a line down the middle of it. Let's see, we'll start at the top and we go all the way down to the bottom, okay? So on one half, we've got the same shape as the other half. So we know that this sphere is symmetrical. But spheres have lots of lines of symmetry. So the line of symmetry is the line that you would draw down the middle. We call that the line of symmetry. So if we went from one side to the other side, it's still the same on the top and the bottom, right? And we could draw all kinds of lines on a sphere or a circle. It would have all kinds of lines of symmetry. Let's look at another object. So this is also symmetrical. You guys know what shape this is. It's a heart, right? So we have a line of symmetry in a heart that goes from the top and the bottom. So you see how this side is shaped the same as this side, okay? But if we look at the heart another way and try to draw a different line of symmetry, that wouldn't work. That's not a line of symmetry down the middle of this heart because these this side has two curves and this side has a point. So that's not a, a line of symmetry, right? But this is, so we say the heart is still symmetrical even if it just has one line of symmetry. Another way to think about it is if you could fold something in half and it would be the same on each side. And we see that this is shaped the same on each side. We just have it mirror imaged, right? Okay, here we go. All right, so our heart is another symmetrical shape. Now let's take a look at something else. So I have a pair of scissors. Now, let's think about some lines that we could draw in the, down the middle. Let's start from top to bottom like we did before. If we went top to bottom, is it the same on both sides? not the same on both sides. You can see that this side of the handle is bigger and this side is smaller and they're not shaped the same. This is kind of an oval shape and this is also an oval shape but it's a little more round, right? Well, what if, what if we tried another line? What if we went across this way? Mmm, still not symmetrical because this part that's round and curved is very different than this part that is straight and pointy. Okay, I have one more object. I want to see if you guys can tell me, if you can figure out whether this object is symmetrical or asymmetrical. Good. Can you see that? So this is some clear quartz. Okay, so I've got, this is a quartz crystal. I just wanna make sure I hold it in a way that you can really see the shape. Okay, that works. So, what kind of lines could we draw in half? 
could go top to bottom this way. Is this side the same as this side? It is not the same. It is not the same. Okay, let's see if we can turn it a different way. Okay, now what if we went like this part to this part? Is that the same on each side? Not the same. Okay, so what would we say that this is? This quartz is asymmetrical. It's not shaped the same on both sides. Okay, let's stand up and try to make some symmetrical and asymmetrical shapes with our bodies. So people's bodies are pretty symmetrical. We actually have a line of symmetry too. If we start at the top of our body and go all the way down to the bottom of our body, that would be our invisible line of symmetry right down in the middle from the top to the bottom. We're pretty much the same on one side and the other side. Now, usually nobody's perfectly symmetrical and that's okay, but we're pretty much the same on each side. I have one arm here, I have one arm here, I have one leg here, I have one leg here, a shoulder, a shoulder, an ear, an ear. You get the picture, right? Right, but we can actually make shapes with our bodies that look symmetrical or asymmetrical. So if I wanna make a symmetrical shape or any kind of shape with my body, I have to use my whole body. Can you say whole body? Whole body, right? So that means we use our arms, our head, our torso, and our legs. Now we can also use our elbows and our fingers and extra parts like that, but we need to use those part to make, parts to make a whole body shape. So let's try to make a symmetrical shape. So that means if I do something on one side, I have to do it the same way on the other side. I've got an arm up this side. What does my other arm need to do? Boop, right up there. Okay, if I take my leg this way, what does my other leg need to do? Boop, right there. All right, I'll take my head straight up, straight down. Now I can't tilt it side to side because if I tilt it this way, I only have one head, so I can't tilt it the other way too. Sorry, my head needs to kind of be in the middle. It can't be straight up or straight down, right? And my torso, I could arch it up, go straight forward. Um, this works. Let's say this is our first symmetrical shape. Uh -huh. So let's try another symmetrical shape that's the same on both sides. Maybe we can start off with this side first. I'll use a little, uh-huh. So how can I make it the same on the other side? There we go. Okay, let's find a way to do our leg that we can do the same on the other side. Oh, I can't do that unless I go down low. Okay, so I could do like that and like that. Okay, what about our torso? I could lean back this way. And what about our head? I could look back this way. This is another symmetrical shape. But we can make asymmetrical shapes too. So in movement art and dance, when we make symmetrical shapes, we think of those shapes being pretty powerful. But when we make asymmetrical shapes, we think of those shapes being pretty interesting, right? So we made symmetrical shapes over and over and over again. Our audience that watch, watches our dance, they might get kind of bored. But if we made asymmetrical shapes, sometimes that gives our eyes a little bit more to do and a little bit more to look at. So let's try some asymmetrical shapes. Uh, that means if I do one thing on one side of my body, I have to do something different on the other side of my body. Okay, so let's try something different with my arm. I've got an angular shape with this arm. Well, let's do a curvy shape with this arm. Okay, my torso's in the middle right now. So let's let's lean to one side. Oh, this is looking like an I'm a little teapot shape. Loving it. All right, so if this leg points out here. Now if I did like that, my legs would be symmetrical, but I'm going for asymmetrical right now. So, uh-huh. And then I'm gonna take my head and lean it back and be a fabulous little teapot. All right, this is an asymmetrical shape. Let's try another asymmetrical shape. Maybe I could take, hmm, I don't know how I can do a one leg up thing. Uh, let's bring both of these arms to the side. So this one's very different. And I'm gonna take my focus 
over my shoulder. Oh, this is a tricky one to balance. Aha. All right, this is another asymmetrical shape. So also I said balance. So symmetrical shapes are very balanced on each side, right? The same, the same. Asymmetrical shapes can be unbalanced. They can be tilted. And isn't that exciting to look at? All right. Maybe you can try and create some of your own symmetrical and asymmetrical shapes. Okay, guys, let's talk about winter. So winter is a season and there are four seasons of the year. Here is a picture that kind of shows you a little bit about each season, about spring, summer, fall, and winter. So in winter, we feel colder, right? And uh, the winter season happens around December, January, and February, around those months of the year. So in South Louisiana, where we live, sometimes it doesn't always get so cold, but sometimes it does. And we have special kinds of weather that we can have during the winter. Um, one thing about the winter, so we can feel colder, right? So we'll need to wear uh, warmer clothes. Like you can see, I've got my hat on and I've got a little hoodie, right? We might need to wear clothes that are really warm to keep our body safe, right? But when the temperatures drop and it gets colder and colder, we might be able to see our breath. When we breathe, we can actually see the water vapor when we breathe. Okay, some other things that might happen is that when it gets colder, liquid water can start to turn to ice. So here's a picture that shows you some liquid water turning to ice. Ice is a solid, so our water changes during the winter too. Only when it gets really cold, about uh, 32 degrees Fahrenheit or colder than that when the temperature is colder than that. Okay, so I'm really excited to tell you about our next thing about winter weather because it's some of my favorite weather ever. I have a hint for you and I wanna see if you can guess what my favorite weather is. Did you guess snow? It is snow. So snow can happen in the, in the winter when the conditions are just right in the clouds. So here is an image of snow. You can see snow is actually a, an ice crystal and they are shaped like a hexagon. So they have a symmetrical shape. And when snow falls, the shape of the snow keeps changing and keeps changing. And that's one thing that makes snowflakes look unique. So each snowflake is different from another snowflake. Let's take another look at uh, a picture of snowflakes. So when snowflakes are falling, you can feel the snowflakes on your, on your skin and they feel nice and soft and gentle, unless it's a snowstorm. So in some places where there's lots of winter weather and it gets really cold, there can be winter storms that can be kind of dangerous, like a blizzard. A blizzard is a storm where there's lots of snow and lots of wind. So it can be dangerous because it can make it hard to see and it can be dangerous to be out on the roads and drive cars. Another kind of winter storm is called an ice storm. An ice storm is a kind of winter weather that has freezing rain and snow. But there are a lot of fun things when the weather's not too bad that you can do during the winter, like make a snowman. So you can use snow to build a snowman. Some people like to do things like ice skating. Ice skating is skating on ice. So here's a picture of some ice. This is an icicle. So an icicle is made when water is dripping and it freezes as it's dripping. Eventually at the end of the winter, um, spring comes. So it, the temperatures start getting warmer, the sun starts coming out and all of the snow and ice 
will eventually melt and turn back to liquid water. Okay, it's time to create our winter weather dance. We're going to use some symmetrical shapes and some asymmetrical shapes. Remember, symmetrical shapes mean that our shapes look the same on both sides. Asymmetrical shapes mean that our shapes are different, all right? So the first shape we're going to create is a shape for a snowflake, all right? So we're gonna start with our feet a little bit apart. And what we'll do is we will melt, we'll kind of move into a shape that is symmetrical. Now I created this shape because it is angular and in some snowflakes we can see kind of points and angles. We said it's created like a hexagon. Uh, snowflakes have a hexagon shape. It's hard to make our bodies look like a hexagon, but we can make them look angular. So we'll try a couple different snowflake shapes since snowflakes are different from each other and since they keep changing from the time they fall from the cloud all the way to the ground. So this will be our first snowflake shape. Our elbows are forward, our knees are going in, my torso is forward and my chin is lifted up so we're using our whole body. Next snowflake shape, we're going to put our weight on our heels and turn our toes out. We'll bend our knees, another angular shape. Hmm, let's see, am I using my torso? Let's do our torso kind of forward a little bit with this one. Now we're using all our parts. My chin's lifted up. So now I'm gonna go up a little bit higher so our snowflake shape is growing. I'm doing a forced arch with my feet, chin still lifted up, and then I'm going to reach out to a big snowflake shape. Let's do those snowflake shapes again. So feet are apart, first one goes in. So we're going in. Now our toes turn out. Now we lift up bigger. And we're changing our shape. We're going to kind of straight shape on this last one. Next, we're going to make a shape for a snowman. So snowman shapes are pretty round. So we'll take a round arm shape. And my legs are, well, they do look a little pointy. It's hard for us to make our, our legs look round, but we're gonna come a little forward like this to make our snowman. So is this shape a symmetrical shape or an asymmetrical shape. It's symmetrical because it's the same on both sides. I'm doing the same thing on this side of my body as I am with this side of my body. All right, moving on, there's our snowflake. Our next shape will be about another thing that we could do when it's cold outside, which is ice skating, okay? So I'm gonna do a shape like I'm skating on ice. So here I was. I'm going to transition, I'm going to move to a new shape slowly, like I'm skating on ice. So what about this shape? Is this one symmetrical or asymmetrical? This one is asymmetrical. It is not the same on both sides. All right, so we know ice is very slippery, so our next move is going to be about watching out for slippery ice. Ah, like we could fall down on slippery ice. So here's our next shape, like we're slipping. Asymmetrical or symmetrical? It is asymmetrical. On one side my leg is down, on the other side my leg is out. Okay, let's try all of those moves together. Ready, and we go. Snowflake shape, then it's changing, then it's changing. Then it's changing. Then we go to our asymmetrical ice skating shape. And then we're going to go to, oh no, slipping on the ice. All right, so our next shape has to do with a kind of winter storm. Uh -huh. So our next shape is about a blizzard. So a blizzard, the wind is blowing really hard and there's lots of snow falling. So I've got my arms in front of my head like I'm trying to protect myself from the wind and the snow blowing in my eyes. 
and a blizzard. So here's our blizzard shape. Okay, our next shape has to do with when it starts to get warmer. So one thing when it starts to get warmer, we can feel the heat from the sun. Uh -huh. So our next shape is going to be about the sun. Oh, symmetrical or asymmetrical for blizzard? This is an asymmetrical shape. All right, moving on to our sun shape. So we'll put our feet together. We'll bring a big round shape. Yep. And looking up because that's where the sun is. My torso is lifted up high. Aha, uh -huh, this is my sun shape. It's a symmetrical shape. Aha, uh -huh. our next shape is an icicle. So our icicle is going to be nice and long and pointy. So what will happen is we'll lift our heels up. We'll reach our fingers up to the ceiling. And we're still looking up high for our icicle shape. Aha, uh -huh. so we have the sun and icicle. What do you think happens to the icicle when the sun comes out? It melts. It's going to melt into a puddle when the temperature gets warmer. So we're going to do a melt move and we're going to go all the way down to a low level shape. Ready? So I'll step forward gently and I'm melting all the way down. Still melting into a puddle shape. Alright, is this a symmetrical shape or an asymmetrical shape? It's hard to see, but it's asymmetrical because I've got, here I'll turn sideways so you can see, so I've got my knees going both ways, my head's going over to the side like this, so we're making an asymmetrical puddle shape. Maybe you have a different asymmetrical puddle shape that you would like to do. Okay guys, we're going to put all of those moves together and then we'll try it with the music. All right, so we're standing up, our feet are apart. Ready, here we go. We have our snowflake shape number one, our snowflake shape number two, our snowflake shape number three, our snowflake shape number four. Here we go, our snowman. Asymmetrical shape, ice skating, and then we're slipping. Whoa, here we go to our slipping shape. Got it. Next is our blizzard asymmetrical shape. And then when the storm is over, toward the end of winter, it gets warmer. This is our sun shape coming out. Next we'll have our icicle. And our icicle melts. So we go from our icicle shape and melt all the way down the level to our puddle shape at the end. All right, let's try it with some music together. So if you'd like to do the dance again, you can always pause and rewind and try it again with the music, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me today and learning about winter weather and symmetrical and asymmetrical shapes. 
Don't forget, we'll be posting new lessons at 10 a.m. on Acadiana Center for the Arts YouTube channel. We will have lessons in kindergarten, first and second grade in both visual and movement arts. You can also get these lessons on AOC as part of the Learn United program. It's on Cox Channel 16 or LUS Channel 4. Kindergarten lessons air at 8 a.m. and first and second grade lessons air at 9. Make sure you come back and make some art with us tomorrow. If you're interested in supporting programs like this, you can visit AcadianaCenterForTheArts.org. They're the nonprofit that manages the PACE program. Spread the word, share our videos, and keep making art. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.